Hey, Wayne Fox, and recently I've been using the dehaze feature that's been added to Lightroom, uh, most notably since it was added as part of the local adjustments you can make, so you can apply it to parts of your image. The purpose of the dehaze filter is, just as it states, to take the haze out of the sky in the long distance. Works on things like fog and, and of course, when it's a little dusty in the air. Very useful. Uh, lately, I've tried using it a little differently, and that's to help try to enhance my skies a little bit. And I've found it a pretty useful tool, so I thought I might show you what I do. Quite often when shooting in early morning or late evening light, it's kind of subdued light, you get some nice uh, things going on in the landscape, but often the camera can't really record the sky the way that we see it. It's usually a lot lighter than what we're seeing with our eyes. As we look into the sky, our eyes and our mind adapt to the intensity, so we don't see this light, uh, pretty well washed out sky. That's not what I saw in the morning. So typically I'll work on a landscape and focus only on the foreground. And on cases where the sky's not coming in like I remember it, then I will try various things to do it. And this new idea I had was to use the dehaze feature to see if it would help. And it's, it's kind of cool. So in this particular image, I would probably start out by grad, uh, grabbing a graduated filter and, and drawing something in from about here to here. Um, let's turn that on so we can see it. And I'll probably straighten it out just a little bit. I don't mind it going down into the foreground a little bit as well because we are getting a little bit of haze off in the distance. And if I show the overlay, you'll see that this filter is going to have very, very little effect on any of this here because of the uh, graduated nature of it. I'll probably do a few other adjustments first. I would typically, uh, you know, I'm going to tone it down a little bit because part of the problem was that it's just overexposed in relation to the foreground. Uh, I might add a little bit of contrast as well to kind of bring out some of the, the clouds and stuff. In this particular case, I might even start to warm it up just a tiny bit. And now watch as I pull in just a little bit of dehaze into this image. And just even, even going uh, to about 15 dehaze, uh, that's, that's a pretty dramatic difference. Let's just uh, open our panel here so we can kind of go back and forth and you can compare the sky with just a little bit of dehaze. And like I said, it, I don't want to overuse it, but I think it's a pretty cool feature. And uh, I've tried it on several skies. Sometimes it works really, really well. Sometimes it doesn't work as well. In this particular image, I might even want to take a little saturation out because we've got, you know, it's added some intensity to that blue. And even though that blue was there this morning, I mean, you can see it reflected down in the water and I haven't done anything to the water. It probably wasn't as intense as that, so pull a little saturation out. So it was uh, a nice effect, a, a nice tool to use if we go back and forth between before and after when we started. There's the sky before and there's the sky after. And you know, that took me, what, 15, 20 seconds. Uh, so give it a try. Dehaze is for, useful for a lot more than just trying to get rid of some haze in the distance. And you might find that it's a little quicker to get your skies where you think they should be in your workflow. Thanks.